In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to add Zoom polling to your Zoom sessions and how to use the report to see those answers and to use that report for your student attendance. First, navigate to your course, go into your Zoom tool, and click on a meeting. I clicked on my first meeting, and I'm scrolling down until I see poll. You can download a CSV template that can be used in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Click download, and the poll will download as an example document. Clicking it will open a new version of your document here. Within the Excel document, there's title, the question name, the question itself, and the answers. You can click and drag these columns and rows a little bigger by clicking and dragging the lines in between each cell, or you can control A, Alt H, O I to fit the columns, Alt H, O H for the height of the cells. So everything is set up for you this way and clearly seen. Under title, this is the title of the chunk of questioning that you're going to be asking. These can be, you know, you can name this one warm up questions. The question name, so this will be the question you're going to ask. Multiple means that they can choose multiple answers and single means they can choose one answer. So your students will be able to choose multiple answers to be able to answer your question or only choose one single answer. This sheet allows you to have three per question. If you need more, you can click on the numbers on the left, right click, insert a new row, and you can add another answer. As you can see, I added a few answers to this question here. If you want to have multiple sections this way, you can select this area and right click and copy, click below it, and right click and paste. Press escape on your keyboard and give another section name. Or alternatively, if you want all your questions in one section, you can click on it and select delete or backspace and then all your questions for your polling will be in one section. Once this is set, you can save it and make sure it is still being saved as a CSV file, which will be shown here. You do not need to give it a different name, but for saving and knowing and delineating which sheet this is to be used for, I changed it. I'm going to click Save and return to the course and select Import CSV. Now I know that was in my Downloads folder. I'm going to click on it, click Open, and the questions will be shown here. You'll be able to see the answers for which questions they will, your students will be answering and in what category. Once the meeting is started and you're ready to do this, you'll select Start Meeting. Once in the meeting, click More, select Polls, and your poll questions will be here. If you want to edit it, you can select Edit, and it'll bring you to a Zoom window where you're able to edit and add questions from this available area. Going back, you will also be able to create a new one, which brings you to this screen. If you have not used the CSV file, you can follow the prompts here to enter questions this way. However, you will have to do this during your session. So this can take some time to set up, and you may wish to do the CSV method so that the questions are already prepared for your students in the meeting. You can launch your poll by clicking Launch, and you will see students answering up here and what their answers will be, plus the time elapsed. You can end your poll, and you have the options to share results, download results, you would view in your browser or relaunch poll. Share results, these will be shared as they are seen here on your screen, and the students will see that without names. Once you have ended your meeting and returned to eClass, you can click on Course Meetings again and see this, 
and see that your meeting is still listed as upcoming meetings. Until this meeting has ended the time that you set for it to end, you will see this in your upcoming meetings list, and then it will be shown in your previous meetings list. You will click on previous meetings and click on report next to any meeting you have a poll in, and you will see the meeting report, see that the users or students who are in here, they joined at this time, left at this time, and were in for six minutes. You'll see their email and the name they chose to type in. You can export this as a CSV file to be used in Excel for attendance. And please note that you may see multiple pages here and students may come and go throughout your session, either due to Wi-Fi connections or they may have left for a moment and returned. So if you do see multiple names for your students, that is why. For the poll report, you will see a name, their email, the question, and their answer. And again, you will be provided with a CSV file to download. This will be available for each meeting you have, and the report will include the meeting attendance, regardless of having a poll within the session itself. Thank you for watching.